Hello, and welcome to How to Mod Star Wars Battlefront Part 5. So, this is going to be a sort of sub-series to what I'm already doing. And this is going to be how to set up your model to be imported into Star Wars Battlefront. Well, through Frosty. Uh, so, this is assuming you already have a rigged mesh, you have the textures sorted, and some knowledge of how to use Blender. If if not, you can just follow along. You'll be fine. So, one of the first things that I do is find what you're going to be replacing because you need to see everything in that mesh that you're going to be replacing. So, I'm going to go with Dooku. And so, you want to go find him. He's characters, heroes, Kandugu. And I'm going to be replacing his first appearance and his main mesh. So you want to export this. Make sure you have the skeleton as the walrus male. The version, I don't think it particularly matters, uh, scale, centimeters. And make sure you click flatten hierarchy. Uh, so, export it to someone that you are going to know it's going to be. So I'm just going to stick it in the folder where I'm going to be working on everything. Yes, yeah, so I'll replace it. Alright, so, it's exported. Now, you want to go into Blender and import uh, that. If you already have a model ready, you can import it straight into the project that you have that in. And you want to scale it by 1000. And import. Alright, that's just so you have a nice, easy size to work with. So you want to click the armature, which is what that's called, and just press H and give it a hide. Right, so the next thing you want to do is open the reference and look in here. So you have all different load distances. Or the level of detail and these are important see if I slowly hide them you can see the model gets less and less well it toned down its quality right which is what you see in game from further away so if you already have a, a model ready then you can skip to this part well you can continue from here so what you want to do is uh, import it. I have this one here, which I am going to import. Yes. Right. These can get out of here. So you can see here in mine, uh, I already have these, but I am going to delete them. Right. So if you look in Count Dooku's model, he has kind of zero mesh load zero. Now, and then you have one, two, three, four, five. So he's six total. What you want to do is click on one of them, F2, Control C, and that's cool. Now, if you've got your model all lined up, you'll be good. If it's rigged, that's fine. So I'm going to hide the skeleton. Now, mine was. Uh, pre-rigged because I used uh, in-game assets that uh, were already rigged so it made my life easier I just realized I deleted the wrong one right so the next you want to do is after you've copied the name delete all of Count Dooku's loads and so you've just left with your mesh next you want to do is click on your mesh and go right click parent clear parent and then it will become uh, small and oriented wrong so you want to make sure it's selected go to the properties of the object go rotation or X and type 90 that will rotate it to the correct orientation then you want to go to scale and type 10 in all of these oh that is a hundred and incorrect 
and now this is assuming your model is already the correct size this will bring it back to what it's supposed to be right so the next thing you want to do is well copy and paste it as many loads that they were so that we had six all together so we've got one two three four five six so zero to five the next thing we want to do is click on one of them and then paste Count Dooku's name by pressing Control V. And that's one. Then you're going to go through for each of these and change this number to whatever. I just go by whatever the pasted number is because currently <laughs> they're all exactly the same. So it doesn't matter uh, what you do right now, how you name them. Well, which order you name them in, it matters how you name them. And once you've finished doing that, what we're going to do is make them into the actual loads. So, you've got them. Easy. The next you want to do is, I always skip the first two, because they pretty much look the same uh, in the game models anyway. So just hide both of those. Click in the eyes. Then you want to go to number two. Make sure it's selected. I always hide the other one so you can see the changes. Uh, so with it selected, go to the modifiers and add one called decimate, which is right here in the generate section. And change the ratio to something, I know, I go like 0 0.5 for this one. It changes it slightly, but not a lot. And then click apply. Then hide that one, move on to the next one and click it and make sure it's selected in yellow in the viewport. Then, the next one, I do this one a little bit more intense. Um, I like to go by halves, so I go like 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and then, you know, half of that again. And then, so, the next one would be, I don't quite do this one a half, because then it becomes too ridiculous, so I go like 0 0.08. And then the last one, I don't quite do 0 0.01 because that just looks stupid and I don't see the point of having that in the game. But like 0 0.03. So you can see what 3 looks like. I'll show you what 1 looks like. It's just pretty much not there anymore. So we'll do that and apply that. And so... Everything's pretty much set up. The last thing you need to do is make sure it's attached to the rig. So select everything in here. So click the top one, hold shift, and click the bottom one, and then it selects them all. Then go to reference and make sure that's visible. Now in the viewport, hold shift again and click the skeleton or the armature and right click, parent, armature deform. And that's pretty much it. Now all you need to do is export it by going into here, file, export. FBX, make sure the scale is set to 0 0.001, and then go to geometry and make sure tangent space is a thing because otherwise it won't work. I'm just going to do it over the top of the Count Dooku mesh that we exported earlier, and no errors, which means we're good for now. The next thing you want to do is open Frosty, and my mesh has disappeared. I know, I just like being able to see it. Right, so the next thing you want to do, uh, if you don't have the alpha, which a lot of people don't because you can't get it at the moment, uh, you might have to get somebody to help you with that, and that's fine. But if you have it, you can do this. Uh, you just click import, click your mesh that you exported, press open, make sure the same skeleton is selected as the one you exported it with, otherwise um, it's not going to work. Click import, and it'll take a second to import it because it's importing. Now you can see mine is there. It is imported successfully. You didn't get any errors. Uh, ignore this. It's from earlier, and that's good. So uh, the next thing you probably want to do is open the blueprint because I've done this before and it looks really stupid. So you want to remove everything except the mesh that you just replaced. So mine is one. I know this is the base mesh for every blueprint is usually one, so I just remove everything except one. 
and it's going to look weird because it still has Dooku's textures, but you can launch it. Now, don't be alarmed if it takes a while to actually load uh, the game because you're loading a mod, um, and it takes a little bit longer for the game to load when you're loading a mod depending on the size of your model, like the actual, you know, how many megabytes it is, will affect how long it takes for the game to actually load. So you're just going to be patient. Just sort of put that in there. Okay, so, get to your game loaded, collections, and go to whatever you imported over. And you can see there, mine is in-game. And working, it does look strange because it has Dooku's textures currently over it, but there's nothing going astrew. Yeah, nothing's off as far as I can tell. The shiny bit went on there, I like that. Right, but it's always good to give it an in game test. And for sure, I haven't played Death Star 2 in a while. Now make sure you're on the right faction, because I've done that before. You start up arcade, and then you go, ah, crap, we're going to quit, and then go back in. <laughs> I've done it many times, so just be aware of that. You will do it sometimes, so don't stress about it too much. You know, when you're just doing multiple <laughs> um, tests of the mesh, you know, it didn't work quite that time, so you got to... Uh, import it again, then you're going to start it back up, and oh, it looks alright in the front end, but you just want to look like, uh, see what it looks like in game. Let's load mine up. Hey, it's a, uh, a trooper with a lightsaber, which is exactly what I was going for. Now, I, I'll put this mesh uh, as a link. I'll link this mesh in the description if you want to, you know, take a look at it, or maybe edit it for your own purposes, just to make it easier. Um, but this is uh, this is this is what we wanted to achieve. So that's the first part of setting up uh, mesh importing for Star Wars Battlefront 2 in Blender. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm being shot, <laughs> and uh, like, subscribe, and I hope this helps.